Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hello guys, good morning guys, hello guys, hello guys, morning guys, hello guys, hello guys. I am starting a new weekly vlog to document my move to Sheffield. As I discussed in my last chatty get ready with me, I will leave it in the iCard if you haven't seen it. But basically I just explained all about the placement I'm going to be starting and why I'm moving to Sheffield. So my hay fever's are really bad, so ignore the like block nose and things because it's been really bad today and I didn't have any hay fever tablets left. And I didn't have any hay fever tablets left, obviously. So yes, but I have literally just arrived. I haven't even unpacked my car yet at a central key at the student accommodation I'm going to be staying in in Sheffield and it seems to be empty like all the cupboards in the kitchen are empty so I think I have a whole flat to myself which is quite cool and it's all clean so I just thought I would show you an overview of the flat exactly as I found it. Okay so you come in and it's like a little bit of a corridor on the left there's a bathroom there looks to be a sink a toilet everything you'd expect and then a shower which looks quite prison like but I don't know hopefully I'll be okay <laughs> it looks very student accommodation -y. there's some hooks probably put my coats on those and then the bed is like that I'm assuming so you can like unpack stuff and put it in there so that's quite useful actually there's a dimmer I don't know what that's for there's a nice little board a desk a chair and little chest of drawers and some shelves so I mean very basic. I have a nice view of the courtyard, which is quite nice. Um, and all the bins, lovely. So yeah, I mean, I can't complain. There's a big mirror. That'd be good for like outfit of the day. Speaking of which, I look like a teenage boy. So ignore this outfit of the day. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's quite nice. It's got everything you'd need. It looks like a typical student accommodation. So I now need to go and unpack my car and fill it up. I still look rubbish but I am now in the kitchen, I have organised the kitchen so I thought I would show you around. So you walk in and it's a fairly standard kitchen, there's a big fridge freezer there but it's a bit dirty so I didn't really want to use that. There's two sinks which is pretty cool and here's the other fridge freezer which I've just put, well I haven't gone shopping yet so I have like a couple of bottles and the freezer which I've put some ice cubes in, well an ice cube tray and here is the food that I have so far I've just claimed like a few cupboards because there's no one else here at the minute I don't know if anyone else will come but I can sort the cupboards with them if they do so I've just got Tupperware up there I've got roller kitchen roll and some glasses and flasks and things and then if we come over here I've got my tea towels and what's that handle? I've just got my cutlery and then, not cutlery, um, crockery and foil and things and then um, my, what's it called, little cool bag and pots and pans. And then all my cutlery is in here. So I've taken up quite a lot of the kitchen but like I said, I can arrange it with someone if they come, you know, so it should be fine. I've also unpacked all my stuff and sorted my room a bit so... All my jackets are there, all my shoes. I've got to bring coat hangers, so I haven't been able to hang up my clothes yet. So I'm going to buy some tomorrow. My bed, it looks really messy, but it is actually made. I just made it really badly. There's like a massive lump of duvet. Uh, my drying rack, ASOS order that I need to try on. There's all my clothes that I haven't unpacked yet. In those drawers are my work uniforms. Oh, that's just underwear. Where do I put my work uniforms? And then the next one. Yeah, so student dietitian University of Nottingham and all my black trousers and black socks and then pyjamas and belts. There's actually loads of room which I'm really happy about. Uh, so I've just got carry bags there for when I go food tromping tomorrow and my bag. That's all like my stationary bits, picture of me and my from Centre Parks, various sweets that my nan forced upon me. <laughs> some drinks and glasses, laptop. That's just all like keys and piercing and bit and headphones. Um, that's a card to open after my results from my nan and Bumpy. Got my textbook and my iPad and my reading book and I'm just charging things at the minute. Then I'll just give you an overview of those cupboards. I basically just threw everything up there. So I have my not very healthy dinner of reduced wrap, reduced fruit and crisps and I'm just going to watch Love Island. Hello guys, good afternoon. So it is Sunday afternoon. I think it's like half past 12. 
Oh, five to one. And this morning I've just been to Tesco. Well, I went to find an Asda because I thought all Asdas were big, which is my fault, I guess. But uh, turns out you can get small Asdas. So I just put in Asda on my maps and was like, Asda near me. Went to that one and it was like a little Asda and I needed a big weekly shop. So I was like, right, I'm not going to stay here because it'll be so expensive. So um, I put in Tesco Extra and went there instead and there was a huge tesco extra it was literally right opposite where i'm living now so i could have walked but i didn't know it was that close and it meant i could get like heavy stuff like milk and things as well so i did a weekly shop i'll probably show you what i bought later but the reason i haven't filmed is because my phone was being really funny with storage but once i switched it off and on again it seemed to like register that there was storage i don't know my phone always goes funny with storage it's really really annoying i'm, I'm just sitting and planning out the week really i have got my diary and all my pretty pens that i showed in last week's vlog so yeah i'm just trying to plan because tomorrow is my first day of work i'm very very excited like so excited um i start at half past nine and obviously i've got to like find the hospital and things <laughs> yeah i'm a bit nervous but hopefully i'll be okay and then i also get my results at 10 a.m uh so i actually did get my results on friday but they weren't right like the two of the modules were all coursework so i could already work out my mark for those um it was wrong like there's no way you could have averaged out the marks and got what they'd given me like i'd love to take a higher mark but that would be wrong so i'm not going to <laughs> uh, they said just to wait for the official marks release on monday at 10 a.m so obviously i'll be in work at 10 so i might have to wait until my lunch break or something but Yes, I will be sure to fill you in on those. So another girl who's doing her placement in a different hospital in Sheffield is also staying in this accommodation. Her name's Hannah. So I'm going to meet up with her in a bit and we're gonna go exploring, I think. I need to find like a Wilco's. I think there's one that's a 10 minute walk from here. So that should be good because I need to get stuff like hangers and a bin for my room, uh, bleach, antibacterial wipes i mean all the exciting stuff really also if you notice my lips are like really weird i've got like spots around my lips because my hay fever was really bad yesterday so i think it's just that because they've literally come up overnight and my lips are all dry and a bit swollen but oh well so i'm just gonna carry on planning now and then go for a walk with hannah so i will catch up with you later <laughs> So I am sufficiently showered and pyjamaed. These aren't pyjamas, but I just threw it on on top. And I'm just waiting for Love Island to come on so I can watch that. And I'm not gonna talk too much because I talked for ages earlier and I didn't even realize. Yeah, I think I'm all ready for my first day of work tomorrow. I've done part of my packed lunch and I'm just gonna make my wrap in the morning. It should be a nice chill day. I'm gonna leave an hour to get there because I know it takes half an hour walking according to Google Maps and um, then I'm gonna have to find the department and things. So I'm gonna leave the house at half past eight tomorrow. So yeah, I will catch up with you in the morning and I'll probably show you what I'm taking for my food as well. So yeah, speak to you in the morning. Good morning guys, it is Monday morning, the day of my first day of work and I had no sleep last night. I was tossing and turning for three hours at half past one. I like checked my phone because I thought it was the morning for some reason. It was not, it was half past one. Then I kept waking up at like 5 a.m. and I just could not get back to sleep. So I was literally lying awake from about like 6 a.m. And um, I just kept going over things in my head and thinking I didn't have time, but like I've got half an hour left and I'm sat here chatting. So clearly I did have time. I've made my lunch, I will show you that when I get there but I've just got it in my little lunch box I've got an orange as well and I'm just sitting down to have my breakfast so for breakfast I will show you I have got two wheat bix with unsweetened almond milk a banana and some blueberries and I've just got a I think it was like passion fruit and something green tea so yeah I'm so nervous I'm nervous about like being there on time finding it like introducing myself to people I'm not really worried about the job yet because obviously I won't do much of that on the first day it's just like admin stuff I didn't consciously think I was that nervous but obviously I was because of the way I slept uh, the reason I'm not wearing my uniform is um it's about a half an hour walk I think I said yesterday so I'm gonna leave an hour today just because I've never been there before and I need to find the department and things and I wanna be a bit early and then I'll need to change because I'm gonna walk in in this. I've just got a denim skirt on as well because it's absolutely 
boiling and if I tried walking in black trousers and a thick tunic I would be very sweaty <laughs> so I'm just wearing this for now and then I've got like a change of shoes socks and my uniform in a carrier bag so yeah exciting morning and I will let you know it'll probably be this evening or I'll try and show you my lunch or whatever but yeah either way I will catch up with you later Oh my god, I'm literally dying. It's all uphill and it's half an hour and it's hot. Hello guys, apologies if you can hear like just general noise and music in the background. My room is so loud. I have no idea why. It's like people are just playing music constantly and obviously I've got to have my window open because it is a million degrees in England at the minute. So my first day at Sheffield Children's went really really well. I had a really good time. Obviously I can't tell you too much about it but I met some really sweet children and the cutest little baby. He was so cute. I'm wearing a skirt by the way. <laughs> I'm not like nude. But yeah, he was so sweet and it was like so completely different to adults, which is what I wanted because I want a taste of everything. Um, so in the morning I was on the wards and I met some really cute kids and I loved them so much. They were so sweet. Then in the afternoon I had a run through of like the assessment tools and what I'm expected to do with my mentor who was really lovely and then I went to have my ID badge. I won't put a close up in because it is horrible. But we have that and they run out of casing so we're getting that uh, soon I think. And then we have a little lanyard that's the cutest. It's got, ooh, just says together we care and a little like poorly bear on it. It's the cutest. I can't wait until the thing comes in so I can actually like, wear it as a lanyard. I'm so excited. It'll be adorable. But yeah, a lot of walking today because I had to go into town to do that and town is apparently not close to either the hospital or where I'm living. Fair to say I'm a bit tired. I have done 12,000 steps and I didn't have my watch on during work. So that's literally just like walking around. But I mean, I said I wanted to do more steps and I'm doing more steps so I can't complain. My friends were like, do you want to come to the gym? And I was like, sorry. No, <laughs> but I'm going to meet them later and just chat about our first day and see how everyone got on and in the meantime I'm going to make some dinner so I will show you what I have. I know I didn't show my lunch but that's because we were all eating together with the other dietitians and I don't want to be the weird one who like videos their wrap so I'll try and remember to show you in the morning when I make it. Ah. I think I'm having a chicken salad wrap tomorrow because as I said I have done my like meal plan thing. So yeah, tonight for dinner I'm going to have um, potatoes, chicken and veg basically, but I'm going to put like nice Nando sauce on it, so yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about it because I will show you like now. So dinner, the lighting is super bad because I'm in like the hot spot by the window in the kitchen. So I've got barbecue chicken with the Nando's barbecue marinade, big pile of veg and a couple of Jersey Royal potatoes and big blob of mayo. Good morning guys, welcome to Tuesday. So I woke up really well this morning. I had a good sleep after the night before last, which was not so good. I don't know why I don't just put you on my tripod, but oh well, this mine. But um, yeah, I had a good sleep, thank God. I've been up, I had overnight oats for breakfast, which obviously I forgot to show you, and I forgot to show you my lunch as I was making it. I'm so tired, um, but I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> it's just a chicken salad wrap. But for breakfast, I had overnight oats. I literally just put 40 grams of oats, 200 ml of almond milk, a chopped banana, well, I like mashed it with a fork, and blueberries in a pot and put it in the fridge overnight and just ate that cold. It was really nice actually. I'm not usually a fan of cold porridge, but it worked, it worked. It'd be nice with some yogurt. Might buy some yogurt next week. But yes, that is what I have had for breakfast. I've just got a cup of tea and I am watching Jeffree Star because I think he's hilarious. So I'm just watching one of his makeup videos before I need to leave. So obviously I'm still in pyjamas as well. But I'll just chuck on clothes as I leave. Because I literally wear clothes to walk to work and then take my work clothes with me. So um, yeah, looking forward to another half an hour uphill walk in 16 degree heat. Ah. 
So I'm just walking back from work and I am so hot. I don't think I've ever been so hot in my life. The walk this morning was so rough, but I had a really good day. So that's good. You probably can't even see me. The sun is so bright. What is this weather doing? Um, in other news, I need to buy a pair of comfier shoes because these are ripping my feet to shreds and I'm not wearing my work ones because they're too ugly. Don't hate me. Yeah, so I'm going to get an ASOS ASAP. So dinner today is one of the beds so I like crispy chicken things because Tesco had completely run out of frozen fish, which is a bit ridiculous, but it looks really nice. Uh, half a thing of Tesco chaga vegetable couscous and some veg. Hello guys, good evening. I'm just watching Love Island. It's actually at the break, so as soon as that comes on, I'm off, just to warn you. But I just thought I would fill you in on my plan. Basically, I started vlogging when I got here on like Saturday, and I didn't think I'd vlog as much as I have, but obviously because it's been more like me telling you about stuff, oh, that's annoying, but obviously because it's been more of like me chatting and less um, like montage bits I guess, like sped up bits and bits with music over, it's actually got quite long because it's a bit chatty. So I've decided what I'm going to do is it's Tuesday evening now, I'm going to vlog tomorrow the usual amount that I would vlog on a work day I guess. So what I've been doing so far and then I am going to upload that on Thursday because I try to upload Mondays and Thursdays in case you didn't know but um, normally it's a vlog on a Monday and then different video on a Thursday but yeah I think I'm gonna split the vlogs for a bit until I can get some other content up so yeah I hope that suits you but I will catch up with you in the morning. So for breakfast today we have two Reese Fix with blueberries, banana and almond milk and then a, well I don't really know what it is, an iced caramel latte I guess. Um, it's just that caramel coffee that I showed you in a previous vlog and uh, soya light milk and some water and ice. So yeah, that is my breakfast. Hello guys, so I am on my way home. I'm just in a really quiet bit of the park. I have to walk through the park to get to and from work. So I just thought I'd have a little sit down and chat to you. Uh, there are people around, but not that close to me, so it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, this angle's never great, but it's the most discreet vlogging angle, so we're gonna have to work with it. But uh, my third day went really well. I went on the wards a little bit. I talked about one of the projects that I have to do while on my placement. So I'm going to do an audit of cystic fibrosis patients, which will be really interesting. I really like the look of cystic fibrosis, it's so interesting. So if you can hear any noises, by the way, I'm like surrounded by a million pigeons, which is nice. I also did like some gross tutorial uh, worksheets and stuff in the office, so that was good. This morning I had a general clinic and they asked me to um, take the length of a baby after I'd seen the dietitian do it on a couple of other babies and I did and it went really well I did not drop the baby and then the mum was like oh you can have a cuddle if you like and I spent the rest of that consultation cuddling a baby and he was absolutely gorgeous and I was in love so yeah that went really well yeah overall I got to hold a baby so it can't have been a bad day really could it looking forward to tomorrow so I feel like I had this the other day but uh new potatoes broccoli carrots chicken with like Nando's barbecue marinade on it and a bit of mayo. It's now Thursday morning and I've decided I'm gonna end this vlog here so if you want to see how the rest of my week was and what I got up to at the weekend then make sure to tune in to the next vlog but for now thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you did enjoy this vlog please give it a thumbs up down below and remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye